Well, good morning, Silicon community. God bless. To God bless. Whoo, whoo. It's an early morning. It's like 5.20 a.m. on Thursday morning. This is my normal routine. Get up, get busy so I can get to work on time. And just adding Cynthia to it makes it um even more because I can't dress her at night because I want her to not be in clothes that looks wrinkled when I take her out in the daytime. So I have to do or coordinate what is right. So good morning. Good morning, good morning to God be the glory. Whew. For God is a good God. Hmm. Well, as you know, I have a two new little ones. I have the puppy and Cynthia. The puppy has already been um caged. I've been up long enough to get her cage done, cleaned out. She's fed, and she's running around here on the floor, uh, again, biting at my heels like she likes to do because she's teething. And her mom's name is Sage. So, you know, I know everybody's going to go, oh, that is awful. But I named her Sadie, Sadie and Sage, because of her mom. So I named her Sweet Sadie. Yeah, I know everybody probably won't like it. It's old, but it's it's an old gym, old school. I'm old school. It don't matter. Everything doesn't have to be hip hop for today. So, you know, ain't nothing new under the sun. So, hey, that's what I wanted to name her. That's what her name is. So, little Sadie's running around on the floor, biting at me as normal. And, uh, tears up. I think I'm getting a handle. I'm real happy again today that. Working with her, she's not um, ice cold. So you, you learn how to keep blankets on her to keep her body at a nice temperature. She's not hot either. And she's kind of lukewarm. So And her laundry is, has increased so much this week, it's incredible. So she needs to hire me to do her laundry. Therefore... Tia's getting ready today. Now, I just, these, this outfit today is an outfit that I pieced together. And her colors are peach. The, the little top, the little one part of the top came with the bottom of the pants. But the other part, this t-shirt here, I matched and put together. And then I'm going to just go ahead and put the other things together this morning. But she's doing really, really, really good. So. All right, little mama. I make sure that I don't, um, you know, pull or put any tears on the baby. It's always a way to do something, and you have to take your time. Well. And I have a, a cat that looks identical to a Maine Coon, and he's really big. He seems to be a little jealous of me spending time with Tia. I'm not sure what that's about, but that's what he seems to be doing. He cries for a little bit extra attention. He usually don't cry a lot, but... He's crying for attention. I'm not thinking about him right now. I'm trying to get Tia together. I know one thing I don't do is I don't um, put any stress on anything. Just trying to get together. This is my big old baby getting her dressed. She's not really big. She's just thick, and I love that about her. Here we go, little mama. Now I already have my prayers in. I've been praying for the sick and the shut in. For my mom who is still in the hospital. Um, praying for one of the viewers who had just had a tragedy and her um, husband has gone to the hospital. And I don't want to call out anybody's name because that's their personal business. If they choose to share that, then let that be on them. But I just want them to know that I haven't forgot about them and 
I have been praying for them this morning and speaking healing into their situation because God is able. We can't lose our faith, but we have to trust God that everything has its purpose. He does a lot and he brings us out of every situation. One thing I learned through listening to my pastor is that this is not the first thing that you've ever been through. And if you believe God and remember that he brought you out the last one, he'll bring you out of this one. But we got to continue to trust him. We got to continue to pray with him. We got to continue to lean on him because truly he is worthy. And um, if nothing else, I trust God. So I do trust God at all times. And uh, I may not always understand what's going on. I don't even have to like what's going on. But. I know without a shadow of a doubt, I trust him. I do trust him. I'm not always, I can't say that I'm always up on cloud nine. But I try to just keep my mind steadfast on Jesus and know that everything in life is going to be all right. I believe that he allowed me to get to you to take a lot of stress off my mind. Because I'm telling you, having this dull has take, completely taken a lot of things off my mind. Because, you know, a, a mind can, can can run on all kinds of things and make you believe different things and say different things. And, you know, when you have an idle mind. I mean, and I mean, I'm, I'm a type of individual that will study the Word of God for three hours a day, you know, two and a half hours. And sometimes not every day, but when I get it in, I get it in. And I mean, I get to the point that where when I have my quiet time and my peaceful time, I will study and I will trust God and I study and I study the word of God. And I don't have a problem with, you know, staying in the word of God until I get an understanding or searching and, and studying to show myself approved until I get an understanding. And I'm just sharing with you that, you know, um, I, I love the word of God and I study it. And, and I had, you know, I had to learn over the course of years. That, you know, you can't just read the surface and think you know something or play the scriptures because you want to feel like you're important or, you know, or beat, you know, try to act like you superwoman or superman about the word of God and all of that. But the Bible teaches us, you know, the word of God, he desires that we study to show ourselves approved. So I like to study and show myself approved by the word of God. And don't get it twisted every day that, that I get a free moment. You know, even if I um, can't physically read it and because of my busyness, I will put the word of God on. Because, you know, you can download it on your on your uh, phone, Bible apps on your phone. And now the God has blessed us so much that we can get the word of God and it can be as it's downloaded. You can actually hear the word of God and um, it, the Bible will read itself to you. So it's the bomb when you can just actually you know, line up and do what you got to do to to have the word of God in your heart and be steadfast because, you know, people will let you down. You know, people will disappoint you. Things will disappoint you. Life will disappoint you. But if you hold on to God's unchanging hand, he will never let you down. And I mean, never let you down. And I find myself, you know, when it seems like, you know, people, you know, people can be fake. So sometimes you don't want to, um, you don't want that fakeness around you, you know. So I just, you know, I'm just real people. If I love you, I love you 100. If I don't seem to, to, to click with you, I still love you, but I back up. You know, I use wisdom, I back up. And it doesn't mean that I have to speak evil or say anything evil, because that's unnecessary. You know, you spend a lot of energy being evil and ignorant towards people that don't really care about what you're thinking or what you're doing. You ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself because you burn all that energy on something that you could have used towards something else. You know, prayer time or thinking time or study time or, you know, being good to somebody else while you worried about what somebody else is doing. Honey, I care less. I, and I hate to be cold like that, but I can't let folks worry me. I can't let folks worry me. I care less, you know, and I'm not heartless. But I'm not going to sit up all my day stressing over somebody else's junk and drama. I got my own daily drama, you know, that I got to deal with on my own self. So I don't have time to focus on somebody else or if somebody like me or don't like me. Girl, man, I care less, you know, boo, for real. So I try to keep my mind 
steadfast on Jesus. And I'm not worried about the likes or dislikes. I'm more concerned about just what have I done for God lately? Have I blessed his name? Have I got up and let his praise be continuously in my mouth? Have I thanked him for waking me up this morning, starting me on my way, clothing me in my right mind? What have I thanked God for this morning? Because he does so much, you know? He He's a heart regulator. He's a mind fixer. When you feel like you're losing your mind, when you feel like you have nobody, when your body aches with pain, when you're suffering, when you're going through, you know, little things, you know, what can you do? I know when you can't do nothing else, you can turn to the rock that is higher than yourself, that is higher than your thinking, that is higher than what you process, that is higher than what you believe. Because God is able, no matter what we think, he's able. And um, He just he's just so good, though, you know. I'm just a believer. I'm a strong believer. I trust him, you know. And, and every day is not peaches and cream. But I tell you what, he will add cream and peaches to the day. Because he's an on-time God. I don't care what comes your way. If you just grab out and hold on to God's hand, he'll make a way out of no way. Because he woke you up this morning. He gave you the opportunity to get another day. It's how we process the things that happen to us throughout the day. You know, because things going to happen. Oh, yes, they are. They're going to happen. Whether it be gas, whether it be headache from hungry, whether you need gas in your car, transportation, car blocking, you know, people moving too slow in the traffic, folks getting on your nerve. I got cussed out the other day um, at the stoplight because a young lady was going straight and there was enough room for me to get on the side because you could either go the street that I was on, you could either go forward or you could go to the right and turn to your right. Well, I was going to the right because I needed to go to work. So I was going to the right and she got mad because I came on the side of her car with plenty of room. Start blowing her horn, pointing her fingers, cussing me out and stuff. I looked at her and cracked up laughing because I said, that's a whole lot of energy worrying about what I'm doing over here in my lane, driving my car while you in your car, you going opposite direction. But why are you even thinking about me? What's wrong with you? You mad this morning about life. So you decide you want to clock on somebody else. Really? Bless the Lord, all my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I ain't got time for you. I looked at that chick. I waved, I smiled, and I kept it going because it wasn't about her. It was about me praising the Lord and going to work. I ain't got time to get into that. You know, I ain't got time for no drama. I'm good. And I kept it moving. And I said to the Lord, I said, well, what was that all about? Because what was she mad about? So I prayed for her because I knew something had to be wrong for her to do that. So, you know, here we are with tears, a little knot up on her head. And, uh, I, I I really would love to have the ponytail that I desire. We're going to get there, though. Trust me, we're going to get there. So I'm trying to get my baby's... Um, trying to get my baby together. So when I get a chance to get this ponytail up in here, y'all can see what where I'm going to be going with her hair every day because I really want to have it up and puffy. I want it like a... Since this is a kind of like a thick... Rooted kind of, I don't know what you call it. Um, it's, it's mohair. I would never suggest mohair to anybody. I don't like it at all. Uh, and I will say it and say it and say it and say it. But now that I have it, I'm going to work with it. It is a soft texture of hair. And so what I've been doing is um, trying to pull it up. You see, there's nothing there for it to be a ponytail or just something in the top of her head. But I want it tall enough. I, I, I My instructions is two inches and really thick. So that it stands out. You know, I want it to sit out. So here's Tia dressed for the day. We're going, she's not going to be real dressy today. She just got a little outfit on so she can go kick it and run around with me. And uh, have on something different. I'm going to put this bow up and bounce out silver. Because I don't have too much blue. But she'll be ready anyway. So Tia say good morning everyone. And bless the Lord. Oh my soul. Yes, I'm silicone. But God gave somebody a gift to make me. And we have to praise God for the talents and everyone to do the things they have to do. Tia keeps me busy just the way I need to be. I get up and I do my prayers. I um, thank the Lord for just giving me the strength to even find something else to do than to concentrate on my mom being ill. I don't have to think about, you know, um, her condition. I can just go up there and trust the Lord and, you know, not be focused. When my mother first got ill, I was very upset and uh, I... um. 
kind of like was having little breakdowns in my car and I kept praying and kept trying to get strong and I just felt like my body was going to snap. I felt like I was shaking and I had to gather myself and I had to run to the to the Lord. I had to go to that rock. I had to pray. I had to get myself steadfast. I had to close out everything that I was thinking of. So right in the midst of all this, Tia came and everything around me just turned around. The joy of the Lord became my strength. My focus began to focus to, to turn around. He, he stood me up and turned me around, put my feet on a solid ground and gave my mind a new regulation so I could think a little different. You know, it's five o'clock in the morning. So my mind right now, this morning is just on how good God is. He is an awesome God. Yes, he is. So I'm just so thankful to the Lord this morning. And, uh, I, I just feel the joy of the Lord this morning. I feel his strength. I feel his power. I feel that he's just able and, um, he's just all that. So, you know, guys to take, you know, today, just remember that we do serve an awesome God and, and he's worthy as we circle together. And no matter what hour of prayer we have, 